revolutionized technology when it comes to audio. Jeff Gore is here to show us how that company had been able to create a sound of success. Jeff, good morning. Charlie, good morning to you. When Macintosh makes a stereo or an amplifier, they do it the old-fashioned way and the American way. This may be the first time you're hearing of them, but chances are they have already changed the way you listen. One band, backed by tens of thousands. For arena rock concerts, it's a simple formula. And it works. But it didn't always. Here are the Beatles! On August 15th, 1964, the Beatles played their first arena concert ever. At Shea Stadium, over a PA system. The crowd was so loud, the music could barely be heard. Basically, those, those venues were using what you would find in a club. That's where Macintosh came in. Right. Macintosh, a small audio and speaker company based in Binghamton, New York, used amplifiers to build a system capable of broadcasting clear sound to thousands. It was first attempted at Woodstock in 1969, but best employed five years later when the Grateful Dead began touring with hundreds of speakers and 48 Macintosh amps, the wall of sound. They actually played in front of the sound system instead of it being off to the side. So 28,000 watts, that's a lot of power for that time frame. What does this place mean to you? To me, it's the only place I've ever worked. Charles Randall is Macintosh's current president. He's been working here for 26 of the company's 64 years. This is the stuff I danced around to in the 1970s. There's still a lot of people dancing to that now. <laughs> and even though ownership has changed multiple times, from domestic to foreign, he says the core tenants have not. Made by hand, all made in the USA. 138 workers. Any factories overseas? No factories overseas. Everything's made in the U.S. Any jobs overseas? No jobs overseas. As long as I'm steering the ship, you will never see it built or manufactured overseas. Anywhere but here? Anywhere but here, yes. I'm sure you've been told this, but you can certainly make more money. Sure. If you sent jobs overseas. Sure, absolutely. But yet my quality will suffer, and I won't allow that to happen. People always say, how long do they last? We don't know how long they last. We've only been making them 63 years. Chuck Hinton works for Macintosh as well. He's also a musician. Playing music was a natural path to come to Macintosh. Hinton spent 20 years waiting for a job opening. He says he hopes it's the last job he ever has. We love what we make, and we think it's the greatest thing. And if you guys like it too, great. Buy it. Enjoy it. It's good stuff. For decades, Macintosh refused to advertise, instead relying on word of mouth. They wouldn't even submit equipment for review. Not that there was anything to worry about. Rolling Stone called their latest product the Wi-Fi stereo of the gods. We thought this song was apropos, screaming off the iPhone. At $3,000, the McAir is by no means cheap. Put on dire straits, Chuck. Yes, yes. But that's in line with their philosophy. Spend more on the good, hear less of the bad. And it's, the music is intended to be heard as the artist wanted to hear it. Your job is to get out of the way. Our job is to get out of the way and just deliver it as it was supposed to be heard. So were you familiar with Macintosh before this shoot? I was. So my father, uh, to the great dismay of his father, spent every penny he had when he left college in 1971 on a Macintosh amp, preamp, and tuner. Uh -huh. Spent everything on it. He sold it back 24 years later for more money than he paid for it. He sold it back to the company, or? Uh, no, to, to another store that, that then resold them. But that's, I mean, this stuff lasts. Yeah. It lasts, as they say, you know, how long does your stuff last for? That We don't know. No, it's only been, only been 63 years since we've I been like making it. it. I like that Chuck Hinton, the musician guy. I thought he was very cool. A little smitten with him. He said, if you like it, you like it. 
Yep. If you buy it, you buy it. Mm. And the president's saying we don't want to send it overseas because our quality would suffer. So I there's like no that. company like it. I get it. It is a pretty rare company to uh, have workers there that long, to never leave yes. that location, yes. and to have stuff that does not break down. Yeah, made in America on right. their yeah. terms. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff Gore. We can dance come, after the show. Can you come back with any, anything? You know, I, I want a Macair. Am I, am I allowed to get one? If you tell Nicole that I can have one, it may help. Yeah, I could tell Nicole, which is your wife. I could tell yeah. her. I could tell her. Thank you, Jeff Gore. Sure. We'll be right back. You're watching CBS this morning. Fuck you.